Okay, and I want to briefly talk about uh, controllability. And controllability is a concept that applies to the first equation in a state space model. So this um, x dot is equal to ax plus bu equation. It is not affected by the, um, the output equation. And in particular, controllability is all about trying to understand what we're able to um, achieve with our control input u. And in particular, how we're able to um, push the value of our state around the state space. Um, so sort of, if you like the idea of a state, um, the value of your state at any particular point in time is giving you some snapshot as to the current configuration of your system. And controllability is kind of asking the question, okay, if I'm in this at this point in my state space at the time t is equal to zero, and I want to go somewhere else in my state space and get there by some time, capital T, um, is there a control input that will achieve this? So maybe it helps if we just start to draw this out on a picture. So let's just assume our system has two states for simplicity so that we can visualize our, um, the, the state of our system on a pair of axes. The first axis corresponds to the value of um, our first state and the second, our second state. And then points in the state space correspond to particular configurations. So let's just say at time t is equal to zero, the value of our state is at this point here in the state space. So let's say we were at this point here, but we don't want to be there. We want to be over here. And we're interested in getting to this point of the state space um, for whatever reason. And we would like to get there at some time, capital T, greater than zero. Um, so we would like the value of our state at time, capital T, to be at this point here. Does there exist a control input that will achieve this? So if we draw a second uh, set of axes, so here we've got time and here we've got U and that's capital T, say, uh, we're asking, can we come up with some function? I don't know, maybe it looks something like that for u of t, so that if I put u of t into my system here, as time passes, well, I'm here at the beginning, and I'll just wander through my state space somehow, who knows how, and end up at this point here. It says nothing about this path being unique. So maybe there could be some other, uh, is that going to work? No. Maybe there'll be some other input, say looks like that, that will have the same effect. It will take me from where I start to where I want to be um, just, just as well. Controllability doesn't care how you do it, it just cares does there exist such an input. Um, and in fact the definition of controllability is if I start, yeah, for, for, for any starting point in the state space and any finishing point in the state space and any time, capital T, does there exist an input that will take me from the starting point to the finishing point? And if you think about it, it's really quite a strong requirement. I mean, this has to be true no matter where you start, no matter where you finish, and no matter, I guess, most bizarrely, no matter what you choose for this uh, value of time capital T. We could, we, we, we're free to pick any time we want. We could pick T to be arbitrarily small, like a nanosecond. If the system is controllable, for the system to be controllable, there must be an input that would take us from any starting point to any finishing point in one nanosecond. And that must be true for shorter times than one nanosecond as well. And so that's sort of something to have in mind perhaps that um, this is clearly a mathematical definition and this has been chosen as the definition of controllability for the mathematical properties that it's going to endow uh, state space models and things and controllability is very convenient for solving optimal control problems and all sorts of other things I and mean, you have this intuitive picture of what controllability means but in terms of something practical in its own right, the concept of controllability is a little bit weird. Maybe in practice, we're, we might be interested in, like, is there an input that takes me from any starting point to the origin? So the origin was our 
operating point. Is there anything that will take me to the origin, perhaps in some reasonable amount of time? That's not controllability is not saying that. It's saying, given any starting point and any finishing point, can I get there in whatever period of time I like? And it also says nothing about whether I will stay there. Um, so, yeah, there's no guarantees on being able to make any point in our state space into an equilibrium point, for example. It's just saying, can we get there? Um, so maybe we write this out. So a system is said to be controllable um, if uh, for any initial condition and so yeah, yeah and uh, for any final let's just say final condition um, this means any final point in the state space and for any time greater than zero, there exists some control input that will take us from that initial condition and deposit us in that final condition. So that's what controllability means. Um, and related are some, uh, you occasionally come across some other names for things and one will have use for um, soon, which is the idea of being controllable to the origin. So maybe you don't ask can i from any starting point can i get anywhere else you could ask from any starting point can i get to the origin and if that's the case then you would say the system is controllable um, to the origin or conversely maybe you could say starting at the origin can i get to can i get to any point in the state space and this concept sometimes called reachability is a state reachable from the origin uh, but it turns out uh, these concepts are completely equivalent. So if a system is controllable, it's controllable to the origin, and vice versa. If a system is controllable to the origin, it's also controllable, and the same with, uh, with reachability. Um, and maybe the easiest way to um, see that for yourselves is to imagine that we perform some coordinate shift. So let's say I introduce a new coordinate, z, um, which is equal to x1, so my original states, but minus, say, 2, 1. So if I just say that's 2 and that's 1, it looks roughly right. Um, so all this is saying is that in my, new, in my new coordinates, this point here, this is the point z is equal to 0, and I could have like a set of z axes that would be z1 and z2. Um, and what, what you see, if you substitute this in, um, so x dot is just z dot, so z dot is equal to a, and then we have a z1, z2, and then we also have some constant term, but let's just lump it all up into the input. So this is plus b, and let's say u tilde, and u tilde is equal to u plus a times 2, 1. So it's like a, just an augmented input here. Um, and th the only point I want to make with all of this is in these shifted coordinates, the dynamics look exactly the same. We've got like a modified input, but in these shifted coordinates, the question, can I go from this point to this point becomes, can I go from this point to uh, the origin instead? So this I can only control my system from here to here if this point is controllable to the origin in my shifted coordinates. But because the shifted coordinates aren't changing any dynamics or anything like that, um, you see that um, any pair of points, you can only find an input that goes from one to the other if equivalently another shifted point was controllable to the origin. And so if every single point is controllable to the origin, that means that uh, that shows that, uh, that these notions are sort of saying the same thing. Um, and the same, the same is true for, for reachability. Um, and so you have sort of various simplifications you can make uh, to the definition, which will help. 
um, with simplify some of the analysis. So um, yeah, there, there we go. Here we have we've seen now seen the definition of controllability. We've seen um, seen what it means, and we've also introduced this concept of controllability to the origin and sort of waved our hand, hands around a bit and said controllability to the origin is the same as um, controllability. And we've also said that this is kind of a mathematical notion, but with some nice intuitive picture behind it.